brand new for 2013 is our Team Wild Gear Show, where we bring you the coolest and latest hunting gear from around the world. The Ontario Knife Company, formed in 1889. They've been supplying the American military since 1942. They've been constantly redeveloping their knives, different handles, different blades, so their knives, as they say, are probably the best knives in the world. So, as Team Wild's knife expert, the Ontario Knife Company has sent me these three knives to put through the paces. I've used good knives, I've used bad knives. One thing's for certain, the good knives stand out from the rest. Okay, we've devised some tests that are going to put these knives through the paces and represent what the hunting knives will do in the field. We've got the Kuka, the Cayuga and the Seneca. All three knives have ergonomic handles and brushed stainless steel blades. The Cayuga is 9 inches long, it has a 4 and 3 quarter inch blade and weighs in at 5.7 ounces. The Cayuga is also 9 inches long, it has a four and a half inch blade and weighs in at six and a half ounces. Seneca is the longest one of the three. She's ten and a half inches long with a six inch blade weighing in at six and a half ounces. Okay, we're going to do a simple paper test. A blade with a good edge will cut the paper nice and easy, no dragging straight through. Okay, it wasn't too bad. There are factory edge on these knives at the moment, they haven't been worked on a stone or anything else, so it wasn't too bad at all. Now we're going to do a series of tests to see how the steel in the knife performs. First up is the Seneca. We're going to chop it into this dry bit of pallet wood here and see if the blade will hold into it. A bad blade would bounce off or even chip the blade, so we'll give it a go. Yeah, it's gone in nice. For the next test, we're going to use the Kiyuka. And what we're going to do, we're going to chop into some bone. We've chopped through those rib bones there, and the blade's still intact, as you can see. There's no buckling or any marks on that blade, which is quite good. And you can see it's chopped through there. For a little bladed knife, I just think that's pretty good. Okay, the last test we're going to do in here, we're going to use the Cayuga. And what we're going to do, we're going to bone this shoulder of lamb out. The idea of this test is you want complete control over your knife so you can leave the flesh on the shoulder and not on the bone. Okay, for a small round bladed knife, it's um, boned that shoulder of lamb out quite nicely. Um, it's more of a blade you'd associate with hunting, with a rounded edge, more for dressing and grolicking deer or different animals. Um, a knife that we'd normally use to do the job has got a long pointed blade, as you can see there, the difference to get in between the bones. So for the Cayuga to do as good a job as that, I'd say it's pretty well done. Okay, all three knives have been put through the test now, so there's only one thing left to do, and that's do the final paper test and make sure that they've held their edges. Okay, so they're still cut in all very well indeed. Okay, so the last test we're going to do is test the tips, make sure that they don't bend and they don't, in worst case, snap off. As you can say, I'd say the tips are fine. The Ontario Knife Company is at clearly at the top of its game with these brushed stainless steel blades on these knives. We've given them a bit of a bench test here, but let's go and see how they work in a real working environment down at the slaughterhouse. Okay. Here we are, down at my little slaughterhouse. Being a master butcher and slaughterman, I use knives all the time. We've done the bench test on these. Now I think it's time that we give them a proper working test. And what more of a test could you want than killing a beast? So we're going in there and we're going to try and dress the carcass out using all three knives in different roles. So I think we should go and have a go. 
I've got a nice um, effer lead there and we're going to dress her just using the three knives that we've been given from the interior knife company. This should be a proper test. Okay, the first one we're going to use is a sneaker. So the longer blade of the three, we're going to use it and take the front feet off. Come straight through the joint there in the skin. No problem at all. The next knife we're going to use is a Kayuga. And what I'm going to do now is open the hide from the tail to the space of the neck using this one. You can see how it goes on. For saying that they've not been on the stone or anything else, and the abuse that we gave them earlier, that is holding a really nice edge. Okay, this is the third one of the three. As you can see, it's got more rounded blade, which is going to be more um, useful for skinning. So now what we're going to do, we're going to start and flay the hide from the animal, and um, I'm going to be using this one. Okay, there we go. One carcass dressed. We've just used three knives. Um, the Kuka is a rounded blade, but more designed for skinning, I'd have thought, personally. The problem I found with this, the blade and the steel was as good as the other three knives, but it's just a little short in the blade. You see that little hook? As I was skinning, although this is a big animal, it just caught. It just, it just snagged on there. So, that's the only downside I've got, apart from the finger guard, which is the same, the handle's the same on all three knives. But although it's greasy, it's wet, it's still a nice grip. It's still a firm grip. You don't feel as if your hand's going to slide off and you're going to do yourself a mischief. So um, that's the Kuka, and that's the only fault that I found with that knife. The Kuka is not as broader in the blade as the Kuka. Same again. It's a nice all-round knife. Um, it's like I say, it's not as broad, but it's still got the bow for when you're skinning and in the field and everything else. I just think it'd go on. You'd go on well for a for an all-round knife. It's a nice knife. But my favourite knife has been the Seneca. It's the longer blade, or a bit more weight in it. I like the bow at the front, the working part of the knife for the skinning. I also like the point, which is narrower for when I'm taking out. Um, different bits and pieces. For me, the Seneca is the one I'd go for. Like I say, the handle was all right, just the finger guard that I'd improve on, but the actual weight of the knife, it feels right. It doesn't feel as if it's flimsy. It's, it's a nice, good, solid working knife. Right, well, that's me done in there. We've used the Kiyuka, the Kiyuga, and the Seneca. They've all worked really, really well. Very impressed with them. In fact, Mr. Offord, he ain't getting this one back. This one's staying with me, the Seneca. It's been the favorite one out of the lot. So all in all, if you want a hard working knife that won't let you down, holds its edge, the Oterio Knife Company is definitely the company you want to be looking at to get your knives from. Fantastic, very, very impressed. And a hard working test, they've all worked faultlessly. To find out more, visit OterioKnife.com. Subscribe to Team Wild TV for all the best hunting videos on YouTube with our new 2013 lineup of shows. Tune in next week to Team Wild Gear for all the action from the ATA show, the world's biggest archery and bow hunting trade show.